Okay, this is Bruce at Bookmap, and uh, we'll go through the uh, platform details this morning. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Okay, it looks like uh, actually a few of you cannot hear me, so if I can just get confirmation on that. You can hear me and see my screen correctly here. I do have the recording going. For those of you asking that, okay, no, okay, so some audio issues still. So if you can hear me, just let me know, and uh, and we'll get going here. All right, this is not working. Okay, let me try this. this. <clears throat> no, you, I'm all set up. Okay. Hello, hello. All right, this is not, oh, okay, it should be working. If you can just verify that, please. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead here. Uh, so if, uh, if you're having problems, then uh, log out and then uh, log back in, please. Uh, and it should, uh, should be fine there. So, uh, okay. Uh, anyway, welcome to the webinar. I've gone through the risk disclaimer. Um, if for more information here on Bookmap, go to bookmap.com, become a member. Uh, you'll have access to the free resources there. And then any uh, any questions, reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, and um, let me show you where you can find Bookmap here. Go to bookmap.com and uh, click on Explore, unless you already are a member and want to sign in. Uh, you guys have signed in uh, probably through here for the uh, free webinar, this webinar. Uh, let's click here, and um, there are a few intro videos here, uh, and let's go down to the pricing tab. So uh, this is where you can find Bookmap. You can get a free trial for 14 days. Okay, there's two versions of Bookmap, the Bookmap Basic and then Advanced, uh, 49 per month and 99 per month. They are billed quarterly. Uh, the difference between these two versions uh are the add-ons so uh you know you can click you can trade and with one click trading right from the chart uh, and then there's these other add-on indicators located here um, and uh, the bookmap basic does not have any of those features okay that's the main differences uh, between the two now we also have bookmap for us equities uh, there's bookmap basic and bookmap advanced uh, packaged with the data feed for uh, DX feed, which uh, allows US equities. So this is, if you sign up with either of these, it's a, it's a package deal. And um, uh, there's no difference between the bookmap version, it's just packaged with DX feed. Now we're not a data provider. Uh, however, we are offering the uh, ability here to um, uh, just with a package deal, uh, get a, a slight discount on uh, DX feed um, and uh, that's through uh, uh, Dev Experts. Okay. All right. So if you are looking for just futures data, then you will need to have um, a data provider. And these are the different um, uh, providers uh, and brokerages, uh, some of the brokerages here that uh, we, uh, we connect with. Okay. All right. Uh, the Bookmap portal, once you log in here, I just wanted to show a few things. Uh, mostly uh, on the YouTube page, but you can also follow us here on Twitter and get up-to-date information. Uh, there is also a um, trade of the uh, of the month uh, contest going on here, so maybe you want to take a look at that. Um, so that's a, a nice feature here. Uh, and let's see, the YouTube page. Okay, so uh, you can follow us here on YouTube, and this is where uh, you can. Um, find all the videos for features and components. Uh, and then these video um, snippets here, order flow video snippets, uh, 
I would recommend first watch some of the features and components so you understand what you're looking at in Bookmap. Uh, you're attending these webinars, so answer or ask any questions. Uh, that'll be uh, that's that's great, uh, and I'll answer them in detail. All right, but uh, these order flow video snippets, then this would be the next step. I would watch a few of these. Uh, they're very short and concise, two to three minutes, and they just go through in important uh, order flow phenomena that uh, we see uh, all day long uh, in Bookmap. So understand a few of these, uh, and um, uh, then you will be able to um, uh, start to uh, integrate uh, order flow trading within um, uh, your, your trading strategies. So there's a few selected webinars below that as well. Uh, and um, uh, there is a distinction here, though. Let me uh, go through this. Once you sign up and go through trial, then you um, – have access to the next um, a video or webinar that's going to occur here in about 25 minutes, and that's the advanced uh, analysis webinar. And uh, we go through uh, none of the platform details uh, really, unless you ask questions about them. And the the um, I will just look right at the order flow and get right into it and um, start to analyze it and look for um, opportunities. Okay, so uh, that's what you get with the trial. Uh, so uh, if you're interested in that, uh, once you uh, have kind of um, asked your questions here in this webinar, the next step is to go through the trial uh, and get into some of the details there uh, with um, the order flow, uh, and then you'll be uh, integrating order flow within your trading. Okay, so uh, that's the, uh, the the idea here uh, to provide those that uh, are already up and running with the platform details. Uh, to uh, start to integrate the order flow within their trading, okay? All right, so let's take a look at Bookmap and let's go through uh, the interface here. All right, look at the uh, uh, channeling here and we're gonna look at the S&P E-mini. Now I'm looking at the um, September contract. There is rollover uh, the next uh, week or so. Uh, so you might be looking at the Z contract, but uh, looking at this one, look look how Bookmap is very easily, <laughs> nicely uh, showing you this channeling here, okay, between areas of high liquidity. So before I get into that, uh, and uh, we'll 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 analyze a little bit the order flow here, uh, but just just some basics, all right? Before I get into that, let's just go over what Bookmap is showing you. Okay, uh, because there's a lot of new traders in here, and we'll just start off slowly, um, uh, start to understand exactly what Bookmap is, uh, what it's showing you, and then how you can uh, uh, read it and benefit from it. Okay, so I'm going to turn on some candlesticks here, uh, and I'm going to turn everything else off. All right. Okay, so in the ES here, uh, we've got some sideways action as we saw, uh, and then here's a basic candlestick chart. Okay, now most of us are very familiar looking at the candlestick chart. Uh, we understand it's open, high, low, close uh, of a specific time period. In this case, it's every five minutes there's a new candle. And uh, we, you know, most for the most of us, um, we read this and start to read the order flow within the candlestick. Now. And you can uh, a little bit, but there's so much more information here that is not being displayed. Uh, and we're making financial, important financial decisions based on open, high, low, close of a five-minute period. Uh, and uh, that, that's a problem uh, because there's so many unanswered questions here and so much transparency uh, or opacity uh, that uh, is, is um, uh, in front of us. Uh, we, we're looking for transparency and information uh, to make more informed trading decisions. And uh, let me show you how Bookmap can do that. Okay, so just looking at this uh, channeling here, we see you know there's pressure on both sides, buying and selling. Okay, we see a little bit of buying pressure starting to come in right now, and we're testing the high of the range right here. All right, so uh, for example, I, I would like to know what's the volume look like here. Well, we have a volume subchart. But that's uh, it doesn't really give me the information here that I'm looking for. I'm looking for where the volume took place exactly on that candlestick. If the volume took place down here, then it doesn't interest me. If it, it, if it, play, if it took place up here and it was aggressive buying, uh, not selling, but buying, 
I'd be very interested, all right? Uh, and, uh, or if it was a, a very, very aggressive selling uh, coming into this area here, uh, I would also be interested, okay? Overpowering the buyers, I would look for a return back into the range here, okay? So those are unanswered questions here by looking at this candlestick chart. And that's, that's a problem. And Bookmap solves that problem. So let's uh, turn on some of the uh, uh, data here. First, I'm going to turn on the best bid and offer, historical best bid and offer. Okay, so now you can see this uh, green line here uh, is the historical best bid, and the red line is the historical best offer. Okay, already it gives us a little more information. Uh, no, no question about it. Uh, and um, uh, we can look at some of these areas uh, down here. We can see that we kind of based for a little while here. We had one little push to the downside, and then it it it, it um, uh, moved away very quickly. Uh, and we've tested the other side of the range now. Okay, so I, I'm very keen to understand the volume in this area down here, as well as the volume probably right above here. I'm looking for aggressive buying action here. Uh, because uh, this would be kind of a point of control area. Uh, and um, I'm looking for the buyers to push it up out of this area uh, so that it doesn't return back to that area. Okay. And if they're not here, then I, I start to anticipate us returning back into this area. Okay. So let's turn on the volume now and take a look. Okay. So uh, we display the volume here with volume dots. Okay, and uh, a big dot, uh, a lot of volume. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, the um, or the area in interest here. Look at how this uh, little drop here uh, down to this uh, 2460 here. There's very little volume trading here. Basically, no one's interested in selling here. It was uh, previously here as well, uh, and we can see that the um, uh, the sellers dried up. The, the aggressive buyers came in, and this was the area of interest, right, uh, that we we're looking at. And we see uh, a lot, some more buying than selling here. And that buying pressure has, has uh, pushed price up to test the other side of the range. And now we want to understand what's going on here up at the top of this range. Okay. So let's click on this move tool. I'm going to hover over this area now. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, use my center mouse wheel and zoom in. Okay, the move tool, it allows you to just left click, hold, and drag, and go back and forth. All right, so I'm going to zoom in again to this little area here because I want to show you exactly what Bookmap is showing you in terms of volume. All right, so let's zoom in just a little bit more. All right, so you can see here historical best offer, historical best bid, and then you see these green dots here. Okay, these are aggressive market buy. Uh, orders that took place on the historical best offer. Okay, so we use the aggressor classification of volume. Uh, when someone hits the market buy button, they cross the spread, they pay up the spread, uh, and they take liquidity off of the best offer. And a green dot is painted here uh, at that uh, timestamp. Okay, the red dot here is an aggressive market sell, and you see one here as well. Okay. We can know exactly what kind of volume it is uh, or how much volume. Uh, click on the uh, data tip tool, hover over this area. Uh, you can see this was for a volume of one. We get the date, the exact time down to the, uh, oh, it looks like it's down to the microsecond or nanosecond. Um, and um, then we have the uh, liquidity that was at this price level. So on this on the ask here, there were 293 contracts at 60 and a quarter. And uh, we can see this is for a volume of two on that fourth line, All right? And then uh, we see volume of one down here at 2460, okay? So let's zoom out now. So you understand the aggressor classification and how we are displaying the volume. And note how when I zoom out, uh, well, there are many trades that took place in these areas, and we're giving you the overall delta and understanding of what occurred at this area. So if I hover over here and I zoom in, note how we start to split apart all of these uh, all of these different trades. So there's still more trades here, okay? And as I zoom in, 
note how uh, now I, I've um, uh, completely um, uh, well that um, uh, display here of the pie is now um, all spread out and into the individual trades that took place here okay and we can see uh, how um, bookmap is displaying this this data here and we're just if you look down here at the timeline uh, this was at um, uh, 9 or I'm sorry 10 31 29 seconds and then we see the uh, display here uh, we're down at the microsecond level okay so we're looking at millions of seconds bookmap will uh, display every single market event uh, with basically unlimited zoom okay so you can look at billions of seconds uh, and uh, note how we're displaying exactly how uh, this trade information came through but as I zoom out Note how we give you the overall shape in the delta because we're not looking at those really low time frames and trading off of them. We want to understand by zooming out what the overall shape was here. And we're getting that here with the pie display. And I can hover over that area and it shows me uh, the date, the time. Okay, now we're looking down at the um, uh, uh, millisecond level. Uh, and then the um, liquidity on the ask and then the volume of 180. So this dot uh, constitutes 180 um, uh, contracts that were traded here. Okay, so as I zoom out, now you start to get a, a much clearer picture. Okay, depending on your time frame that you trade, uh, you can see the, um, the aggressors here uh, lift the offer uh, and then price starts to pull away uh, basically right here uh, but then, uh, then we. This was the critical area that we were looking at earlier, and we can see that the aggressor uh, won the battle here on on the buy side and pulled price to the upside. Okay, so that is something here that Bookmap is showing you. That all of that information is not displayed uh, within uh, the candlestick chart. Okay, and as you can see here. Uh, we were pretty pretty spot on uh, starting to understand what was occurring here as this breakout has now continued to the upside because we see more volume trading at higher highs. Okay, All of that information was not present in the candlestick chart. Okay, Now, we've just covered volume, Okay, only volume at this point. Uh, there, that, and that's very helpful. We want to understand uh, where the trades took place. Uh, how much, uh, what type, um, et cetera, and the timing of it. Um, but on the, on the other hand, there's, there's another side to the order flow. And uh, that side is understanding the, the bids and the offers. Okay, What about the auction? Where are traders lining up to bid and offer in this market? And that gives us tremendous insight here. And most of us are not familiar uh, uh, of consuming this data. Okay, so uh, the way we consume it is we look at the uh, the dome. Okay, so here is the dome over here in these columns uh, in Bookmap. Okay, so if I look at the current order book here, I can see the depth here uh, on the on the bid down to this white line, and the depth here uh, on the offer up to this white line. Okay. Uh, best bid and offer is right here, as you can see, and uh, and it's also displayed here in this window, okay, with the dashed lines. This number here is the last traded volume, and then here's my price ladder that I have uh, spread out for every four ticks. So I'm just looking at the whole numbers. All right. Okay, so the liquidity here in the dome. Uh, these are contracts where traders uh, want to uh, bid uh, in this marketplace. Okay, so, so we, we see 1,024 contracts here, uh, 1,050, uh, et cetera. All right, so they're lining up here. They want to be buyers at this price level, and they're providing liquidity. Okay, the same here on the offer, but they want to be sellers at these price levels. Okay, the market is uh, an auction, and uh, that's what's going on within the dome, as we can see here. Okay, this is like any other dome uh, that you, uh, uh, you, you know, usually uh, uh, look at. And um, uh, the problem with the dome uh, is, is it's excellent for the current market condition, okay? We can see the liquidity at these price levels and start to, start to gauge uh, where there is interest to trade. Problem is, once these traders 
pull that liquidity or add more liquidity, that previous data is now, it's gone. Uh, there's no historical reference of it. So to understand the current market, uh, it's also very good to understand what just previously happened there too. Uh, and that's the problem with the dome is because that this data is refreshed uh, and then it, in that historical context is gone. Okay, now this is where Bookmap will solve that issue. So let's click on the, um, the heat map here. Okay, and now we have historical reference of the liquidity in this marketplace. Okay, and this is already telling me a lot. Okay, I'm actually, I'm looking for a continuation to the upside here, just based on what I just did. Okay, why is that? Look at the, look at the liquidity here on the bid. Okay, there's more buyers interested after this breakout. Okay, the sellers are up here. Okay, but we have broken out of this channel. Okay, this is where we can see the buyers, or I'm sorry, the sellers here, and the buyers down here. We've broken out of that channel, and we see buyers now at a higher level. Okay, before I get into that, we'll 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 finish up by that um, uh, little bit of analysis here. But let me let me show you exactly what the heat map is uh, displaying here. All right, so the um, uh, the heat map uh, is a, a graphical in this window here it's a graphical representation of the liquidity uh, these numeric values here okay so when you see these numbers change you'll see the heat map change All right now I've got it set pretty high here so let's uh, let's bring it uh, let me click on the automatic contrast configurations uh, and um, actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of blow it out a little bit uh, so that uh, uh, we have a little bit better graphical representation here. All right, so it's a little subtler now, uh, and um, uh, if you you'll note uh, certain areas in here when the um, the liquidity changes, okay, the heat map will change. The brighter areas are higher liquidity, okay. Darker areas are less liquidity. So that's what this window is displaying here. And this is the current market. Okay, And you can just see it shift there as, as uh, uh, I zoom a little bit. Um, so now what's interesting is when these numbers change here and we see the heat map change to reflect that, um, it is now recorded uh, just to the left of this vertical white line. Okay, and note these striations that you see up here. This is the adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay, as I can as I hover over here with the data tip tool, you'll note uh, you, you see the date, the time, and then what was on the ask. Okay, as I as I continue to scroll, you'll see that these number the number changes there on the ask. Okay, along with the time. All right, so it's giving me exactly uh, what occurred here. Uh, at this price level uh, in the auction on the offer. Okay, so, um, uh, and now we can start to gauge the intent of these traders at these areas. And that's what Bookmap is offering here. Okay, and that is not seen here in the dome. Okay, you can, it is, it is difficult to remember uh, Back here, there were so many traders, they pulled here, as you can see, uh, on several levels. And remember how when I first came in, I was looking for a continuation to the upside. All right, and we're already getting it here. All right, it's already moved a few ticks. Okay, and that is because there's buyers here that are aggressive. Uh, they've been in the in the um, uh, market here for a bit, uh, and um, now we need to see continuation. Right. Uh, we want to see that these buyers step in and we want to see the aggressors step in as well. OK, but there's a lot of liquidity down here. Buyers at a higher level. And that's the insight that we're getting. OK, so. Uh, being able to read this historical context uh, is um, uh, gives you uh, 
a lot of transparency into the marketplace. Uh, now we can start to gauge the auction as well as the transactions in the order flow. Okay. So the, uh, the, the transactions and reading the volume is important, but it's just as important to understand the condition of the auction. What is the liquidity? How are they behaving? Uh, are they adding at a higher level? Are they pulling at a higher level? Uh, these are questions that uh, uh, gives insight to the price movement. Okay, This is an aggressive breakout in this example right here. And why do I say that? Okay, Because it, it moved out pretty quickly. And uh, now we see buyers at e not even where it broke from here, but they're even higher. Okay, so initially, at this point here, I'm looking for that continuation to the upside. Okay, now this can change, and we'll we'll note the change. Okay, and so far I'm I'm still sticking with that um, analysis. Okay? These guys might pull though, and if these guys start to pull and they get aggressive here on the offer, and I start to see a lot of aggressive selling here in volume. Then I'm looking for a retest of this 2464 where we broke from. Okay, and um, uh, that's where the uh, the aggressors are going to support price, uh, and uh, maybe we'll start to see liquidity line up in this area here. All right, so there's um, uh, starting to understand the the, um, the context of the auction. Uh, and also the context here of the um, the aggressive uh, uh, volume. Uh, put that together, and we've got a, a very nice picture uh, of the complete order flow. All right, any questions? No. Okay. Yeah, no, the, the basic version, um, uh, Jason, is um, 49 per month, and the advanced is 99 per month. Okay. Yeah, and it is it is billed quarterly. Uh, and just remember the DX feed, uh, that is for equities, okay? And let me show you Apple here, for example. I have Apple. Okay, and we can see the um, basically the same pattern we were just looking at here. Uh, in the ES, okay, note the channeling here down in this area, note the breakout, note the aggressive volume, okay, and we see continuation to the upside, all right, and uh, look at the, the flip of liquidity here in this area. Now, this is less aggressive than we were looking at previously, okay, but it is still aggressive. Uh, they the, the offer was here, and they flipped over here on the bid side to support price from this breakout area here of 61.45 or 61.50, okay? And so far, you can see the action, okay? We're up at 62.05, came up to 62.20, basically, all right? So we have a complete understanding of the, uh, the auction here and their willingness uh, to buy and sell uh, and their intent and um, the, uh, the the commitment here within the transactions and the trading. All right. Okay, guys. Well, uh, yeah. Thanks for coming. Uh, not uh, not the most interesting day to see, but uh, you know some of the uh, order flow uh, uh, structure and phenomena that we uh, look at in the advanced. Uh, we go into a lot more depth, but um, uh, you you can start to understand uh, some of the basic uh, building blocks here. Uh, that will help your trading, okay? So whatever method that you use, uh, this would be the next step is to start to really pinpoint your entries and exits uh, based on what you see in the order flow here, okay? All right, guys. Yeah, thanks for coming, and uh, we'll do it again tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow's Friday, so uh, that'll be uh, it for the, uh, for the week. Uh, and then um, uh, we'll do it again next week, okay? All right, have a good day. Talk to you later.